Hey friends, welcome to the 2019 OUSA convention. I'm standing right outside the D'Angelo Center, which is where all the exhibition is going to take place. Now this time around we got a ton of stuff planned, a bunch of friends came out for this convention. So I'm excited to show you, keep watching for more. Hey friends, so we are back and I am currently setting up my exhibition space. Um, slowly people are starting to trickle in. But I got a lot of work to do finishing this up. I will show you guys later when I'm all done. But here's a little sneak preview. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. We got Fearless Flourish down there setting up too. We'll go say hi in a bit. Guys, I am just about done with setting up my uh, exhibition. Now, I haven't really explained what this vlog is going to be. So, if you watched last year's vlog, you know I did some interviews, um, showed some of the exhibition off, uh, and just showed some general folding with me and my friends. So, that's probably going to be the same format as last year, but we got a lot better camera, no shaky cam, hopefully better audio, and then we got a ton of friends that we're going to interview and show some more exhibitions. Uh, yeah, I got more later. I don't want to spoil the exhibitions too much yet. So we'll come in tomorrow when it opens and check it out. Alright guys, we're back at Marillac and this is where most of the folders hang out. Uh, right now I'm going to be checking in. Uh, Grant's right here checking in. We're going to get everything set. Hey guys, so we were just folding here right before classes start. Um, this is part of the squad right here. We're all folding together. This is Julian, Elijah, Grant, Donnie, and Raiden. So I'll link all their accounts below. You guys probably know them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead to class soon. All right, guys, we are in Kamiya Satoshi's diamond class. I uh, can't show the diagrams here, but we can see that we got full class with uh, Kamiya-san. So I'm super excited. And yeah, stay tuned. So we just finished Camia's diamond class. Um, models right here. It's very, very cool how it comes all together. But squad's about to head out. And thank you, Camia, for teaching. Very nice. Hi, friends. Welcome back. It is day two of the 2019 convention. And right now, I'm standing in the exhibition. Now, I'm pretty early, so no one's actually here yet. Um, and that's so I can just film uh, for you guys to get an exclusive view of the exhibition and so that you guys can see all the amazing models um, if you haven't made it over. Now there are tons of amazing designers and folders here so I'm going to try to link as many as I can down in the description so go make sure to take a look at more of their folds. Um, but yeah, let's go enjoy some of their models.
All right, yeah. friends, we are here in Ryan's class right now, working on his Roadrunner design. I came yeah, in a little want, late, so to, I'm kind of behind, but this is, for, for your own this is a great class so far. Um, but what I like to do is I like to create the little bottom. Sweet. Yeah. Let's keep going. And then you can... <clears throat> All right, friends, I was able to finish up Ryan's model, even though I was a little late. He's absolutely wonderful. Look at that little bird right there. Very cute. Hey friends, so Grant, Julian, and I actually got the opportunity to do an interview with Origami USA. Um, so if you want to watch us answer some questions and have a nice chat, I'm going to link that interview below. Speaking of interviews, here are the talented folders I got to interview. All right, guys, we're here with Raiden, and Raiden's going to tell us a little bit about his exhibition. Okay, so uh, most of these are mine, but some of them are from my friends. So, for example, this is Donnie's face hugger from 18 Inches of Orgamino. This is a star that my friend Megan folded from college. And this is my high school friend's Divine Dragon from Tony's Craft. And, um, I was really struggling with the kudu. I actually finished that last night. At, it's up until 1.30 a.m. and that's 256 steps, so I'm really proud how to finish that. And uh, this is my own design, Diamond Canard. And I thought it was kind of interesting how Michael Foss's F14 Tomcat was about the same length as mine. So I thought it would look nice if I folded both and displayed them right next to each other. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us your exhibition, Raiden. Uh, thanks for having me, Go follow him on Instagram, guys. I'm going to put his tag on the screen as well. Sweet. Hey, friends. This is Julian Rodriguez, and he's got this amazing display right here. Julian, why don't you go tell us about some of your folds? All right. So when I first started origami, my main interest was in seeing how clean and geometric some of these folds can be. And you could see, especially in some of my works like the Pomeranian, I kind of tried to make it as clean as possible so I can get the shapes just right. So after um, folding many, many models from diagrams and CPs, I um, kind of struggled with my shaping style and I went to design it. And before refining my shaping style, I tried designing. And I, although I gained a lot of knowledge on circle packing and uh, box plating models, um, my folding wasn't quite where I wanted it, as you can see. Um, so then after that, I took a break from designing and uh, I focused on refining my shape and style, trying to get it as neat and clean as possible while trying to give the models an expression. So as you can see here with my wolf and the labrador and the horse, I started making my own paper, my own tissue paper. And uh, once I got the hang of uh, pasting and uh, you know, making the paper, I uh, improved, I tried gradually to improve my folding style. And over that time, I focused on some designs too, like my manta ray. It used to be a very simple design, but uh, over time, like in the span of two years, like off and on, I refined it, like added more details, added scale to the tail thing, and I got it to exactly where I wanted it to be. So I'm very, very happy with the result. Um, so I tried many different designs as well, like uh, my bongo cat here, it's more of like a flat two-dimensional design, but I try to get the shape very simple and geometric as well, as long as the added bongos too. Yeah, that's one of my favorites of your designs. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much uh, after this point, um, I, did the, I started with more complex models like the Phoenix. I folded three other phoenixes in the past, but this one I felt like is just my best one. Awesome. Well, thank you for the little tour of your display, Julian. Um, we'll see you around.
And guys, go follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna link his uh, Instagram somewhere in this region of the screen. Sweet. All right, guys, you know him. We are here with Grant, Fearless Flourish, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about his amazing exhibition. So I'll probably talk about the Ryujin first. That I used double tissue that I made. I took about a week to make the paper, and then an overall the size was 144 centimeters, and it took until a year to make this model. And during that process, I was recording the entire tutorial, so it would be much quicker if I wasn't. So, and then we'll jump to the Matis, one of the hardest models on the table. And the paper I used was single tissue, bleeding tissue. And what was most tricky about this is that I couldn't properly collapse these tiny spikes. So I had to use miniature tweezers, two sets of tweezers, and pull out as many parts as possible. So there's 10 spikes in here and on here, and there's about 35 on each side. So it's really tricky and it was really hard to make it stand, but that's the best I could do. And again, this paper here, the Hercules Beetle, that is single tissue. And the way I got this gold on it was when I emceed it and left it to dry on the glass, I then painted it gold so that way the paper doesn't warp when you peel it off, uh, before you peel it. So when you peel it off, it's completely smooth. And basically, the Caribou, one of my favourite models. This is the newest model I've made so far. And it's a Wenzel rice paper, about 69 centimetres. And I was so happy with the head. The most part I've worked on on this model. It's quite tricky to stand there. Yeah. And again, uh, let me see, Dancing Crane, Robert Lang. This is made with double white tissue. And the white tissue I have is super thin, like 6 GSM, so I had to use two layers. And this is probably the most proudest model I've made, other than Ryuji, because I don't think I could do it any better if I ever tried it again. And the model is this ancient dragon. This is used from single tissue. I collapsed this a few years ago, but I wasn't comfortable with the shaping. So I left it a few years later so I could build my experience up. And what I did with this differently is I wanted to give it a thick neck. Most ancient dragons are squashed thin and then added crimps and then give it a curve. But I wanted to give it a thick neck because a dragon is supposed to look fierce in my opinion. So that's what I done. And again, single tissue allows you to get a lot of detail involved. And then the paper you've all been asking for is the Gucci paper I used on Kota, Kota Ima's insect. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. See, I couldn't even write the full name on the name tag. I think that's what it's called, but <laughs> that's basically that. That took forever. I basically took a day to shape each leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days, a day in the body, a week, and a day on the top. So eight days to shape this. And I used the secret in this is cotton wool. If you fill up on the specific parts, it can puff out a lot. And it's the same with the mantis. Again, the whole body is filled with cotton wool, so it's, it can uh, push itself back up. And if you didn't use cotton wool, if you look at it this way, it's a circle. But with no cotton wool, it would be completely flat. This part would be sunk right in. That's what happened the first time, the first time, so I had to try and find a way to do it better for this time, so that's what I've done. And that's just a quick look at the models I brought to the convention. And also one more, I could not bring these. The smallest region 3.5 scales in the world. So I used 4 centimetres. Uh, what, what coin's that, boys? A quarter. A quarter, quarter. so... I'm not comfortable with the terms of the coins here, but it fits <laughs> on a quarter. Wow, that's tiny. <laughs> I used four centimeters of glassine paper, and I recorded the whole process, and it was tricky. Tweezers upon tweezers, and just wow. really detailed work. Never go smaller again. Do not attempt that. <laughs> Don't even attempt that, anyone. 
So I hope you learned something. That is basically the quick explanation of the models. And thank you so much. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to Boys right oh. now. <laughs> this video right now. Hey, thank, thank you, you Grant. So All right, guys. You know where to subscribe to him if you aren't yet, but you probably are. So I'll put those right on screen. Thank you very much, and can't wait for more videos. See you later. All right, guys. Kitchen's <laughs> wrapping up. Um, Right now, Kamiya's packing up his station, and I am going to be packing up mine soon as well. It was real fun, this exhibition. I gotta say, a lot of cool models. And I hope you guys got to enjoy. Are you recording this? I am, because I am giving this model away. So this model is going to Elijah Perkins, and ideally, he is down this hallway. Long walk, but Elijah Perkins. Elijah, you better have enough room for one more model. There you go. Why? Uh, did you, I win? You won, yeah. <laughs> I did? Brayden picked the t-shirt, so next name was yours. Oh. There you go. Wow, thank you. Yes. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the giveaway. Um, I'm going to try to have an even better format next time and some more stuff to give away at Peacock. Sweet. All right. Hey guys, so we are doing an oversized folding challenge. Uh, this happens every year at OUSA. So I'm kind of excited. I was originally on a team, but things happened and I'm deciding to chill and just do it by myself. Um, I'm planning on folding this guy, so not too hard. Um, as you guys know, I fold big papers a lot, so let's have some fun. to finish the four leg crane with the assistance of Yuki Martin from Portland, Oregon Paper Shapers. So technically I had a duo partner and that actually helped a ton so I didn't have to do it alone. It was very nice. I think uh, I'll try to find some photos of this thing because it does not stand up on its own very well. But yeah, tons of fun doing the uh, giant folding competition. Um, and yeah, now on to <laughs> What's next? Wow, so Camus team, they actually folded their Honda Super Cup. That is absolutely crazy. You can see me for reference on how large this is. Absolutely nuts. That's cool. So if you guys thought the motors, uh, the motorcycle is cool, the Kamiya team is not done yet. They are attempting to fold his diamond, which class we took before. Um, it's at the beginning stages right now, but we'll see how it develops. My goodness, this is going to be pretty, pretty amazing. So after filming this clip, something really cool happened, and I was asked to help out with the diamond. So I thought it was such a neat opportunity that I got to fold with a bunch of my friends as well as Kamiya san um, So that was truly special. Now, once we were able to finish the diamond, um, Dasha's team had actually uh, made a large version of her design and the diamond perfectly fit right on top of it um, as like a nice little pedestal. So some of these shots are uh, Dasha and Kamiya san together, um, the two special guests, as well as some progress footage I got of uh, folding the diamond. But yeah, it was a super fun experience and I was absolutely stoked to help them out fold it. No, 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 no. This is for, don't tell me. Uh, no, no. I got no, 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 no,
guy at the first book I don't really know very well. And one of my best friends who was over here. I doubt it. <laughs> but who didn't ask for the first book? I see. I need one of their middle actors. Uh, if you want to know what I'm right now. You have time to choose. I know. It's very amazing. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, friends, we're here folding late night with a nice squad of people. We are using Ogami tonight for Kamiya's new butterfly, so that's going to be pretty fun. Now, it's going to take a really long time. I don't think any of us are going to finish it, but we're going to try. Hey, friends. I just wanted to quickly talk about the late night folding that you see here. Um, basically, the people who are staying at the dorms who want to stay up late all come to the second floor to fold together. So in like the clip you just saw and also some of the B-roll shots that are going on, um, you'll notice uh, some of us went to get the oversized paper to fold with um, while the others of us are folding the butterfly by Camia on. Um, I think this is one of the best parts of the convention, um, just as you really get to connect and make some new friends. For example, um, John Montrell decided to fold the butterfly with us, and just getting to see someone um, you look up to fold with you and just be able to ask him things and just chat with him and overall, as friends, just enjoy folding origami together is really special. Um, so yeah, you have to stay at the dorms to do this so if you're planning on coming to the convention i recommend planning on staying at the dorms it's a ton of fun and i hope you guys enjoy some of the footage from that night all right friends so that's going to wrap up the convention vlog uh, i honestly had such an amazing time just getting to see everyone and fold together um, this convention I was able to hang out with much more friends uh, from around the world than any of the past conventions, and I really loved it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I have a bunch of new video ideas that hopefully I'll be getting out pretty soon, so stay tuned for more. Thanks. All this origami, all this origami, all this origami got me going comic.